the Gambia, also known as the Smiling Coast of Africa, is a country in West Africa. population of 1.8 million people. But before we get into the 10 things you didn't know about the Gambia, my name is Gani and this is the African Meat Show where I spread good vibes about the African continent. So if you want to learn more about the African continent, please like, share, subscribe to the channel and also turn the bell notification on as well so that whenever I have a new video out, I get you notified. And also remember that at every end of my videos, I share a free Swahili lesson and this is because Swahili is the most spoken language on the African continent. So let's get into the 10 things that you didn't know about the Gambia. Gambia is located on the African west coast and it's bordered by Senegal and the Atlantic Ocean. As Alia mentioned, the Gambia is a very small country. It's incredibly narrow, measuring less than 30 miles wide at its widest. So you can imagine it's a very small country. But although small, the country is densely populated with approximately 1.8 million people or it's even coming to 2 million people as of today, 2020. Agriculture is Gambia's main source of income. The Gambian economy heavily relies on tourism, but the second biggest cash crop in the Gambia are the groundnuts, or you can call them peanuts. It is said that 80% of the population in the Gambia is employed in the agriculture sector, so the Gambian population heavily relies on agriculture. Many of them engage in uh, various ways of farming, but most predominantly the subsistence type of farming. The Gambia is also known to be a country with nine tribes. The largest of these tribes is the Mandinka, along with the Fula and then the Wolof. All these tribes in the Gambia live harmoniously together and they live a very happy life. But if you're someone who would like to go live in the Gambia, English is the official language spoken in the Gambia and it's widely used all over the country. Gambia is also known for the many bird species within the country. It is said that there are over 600 bird species within the Gambia. Many of these birds can be found in the forests, on the riverbanks and also the seashores. So if you're a bird watcher, this is one of those things to look out for when you head to the Gambia. The Gambia is predominantly a Muslim country, but there are other religions like Christianity and indigenous beliefs. So these take up percentages with the uh, Muslims being around 90%, then Christians, they're about 9%, and then the indigenous beliefs or the traditional beliefs, these are about 1% of the Gambians. But the thing you need to understand that all these communities live together and they live harmoniously. There is no friction whatsoever among these religions, so all these people embrace each other the best way they can. Another thing that you would like to know about the Gambia is that during their elections, uh, they vote using marbles. 
it said that in one's private booth during elections, the voter is presented with the holes in the ground marked with the, each candidate. They simply drop their marble into the hole they choose. So that's a way they select a candidate of their choice. So when you're in the Gambia, you'll have to experience or have a look at this for yourself. These include hyenas, wart hogs, the puff adder, and so many other animals. So if you're looking out for the wildlife in the Gambia, you would best find it along the tributaries of River Gambia. The Gambia is also known for the fact that it was once a center of slave trade in West Africa. The Kunta Kinte Island, formerly known as the James Island, was once a waypoint of the transatlantic slave trade. Today it's known as one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the Gambia. So if you're making a visit to the Gambia, this is one of the places that you must look out for. One of the great grandfathers of the Gambia, Kunta Kinte, is said to have been born on this island and the Museum of Slavery is found in this very place. The museum brings the past to the present by educating visitors about the history of the transatlantic slave trade that happened in the West African region. The Gambia only has 50 miles of the coastline but my god you'll find some of the best beaches this world has to offer. It's these beautiful beaches and uh, all year round sunshine that makes so many tourists travel to the Gambia for holiday making. So if you're planning your next holiday, this is one of the places that you should visit on the African continent. The Gambia is also known for the sacred crocodile pool in Bakao. The Kachikali crocodile pool is home to around 100 crocodiles of varying shapes and sizes. These are very well looked after so they pose no danger whatsoever to any tourists that come around on a daily basis. Oh, by the way, when you visit this crocodile pool, you should also check out the museum that basically describes how this area became a very sanctified place in the Gambian culture because they believe that the water in this place has some healing powers. So, this is one of those things that you should look out for when you get to the Gambia. For our Swahili lesson for today, I picked out a word that I believe so many people use around the world and definitely when you come to Africa, it is one of those words that you'll have to use definitely. So the word is Kwaheri. Kwaheri is basically a word that we use to say goodbye. So let's say if you're telling someone uh, goodbye, maybe you've had a nice time and then you're finally saying goodbye to them, what you would have to say is Kwaheri. Watch this next video.